Sometimes as parents, we need to be reminded that we have this little person watching us. You know, they hear what we say and they do what we do. And parenting fails can, can happen quite often. In this video, I'm going over six things that you aren't doing, but you need to do them so that your child can see it. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman and welcome to another episode of Dad University. We have our live show every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube. Then every Thursday, we release a new dad advice video. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. These parenting fails are common, but we're failing to do these things as parents, and we need to fix it. Number one, apologizing to your child. So let's say you get in an argument with your child, and you know, you're yelling back and forth, and eventually you tell them, go to your room. So, Certain time goes by and you know, you've cooled off, they cool off, and then eventually they you know, apologize to you. And this is sort of the routine and you guys hug it out and that's it. What's the parenting fail here? How many times have you apologized to your child for the way that you acted? Or is it that you're the parent so you have a right to yell at your child? Remember, we're trying to teach them not to yell. It's important to apologize for your own behavior and let them know that you could have handled that situation better. You might say something like, you know, well, I'm not happy about what you did. I could have handled that situation better and next time I'll make a better effort not to yell. I'm sorry. They will mimic that behavior and so when they get out of line or they yell, they will be inclined to apologize as well and learn from it. Number two, making up with your wife. If your child sees you arguing with your wife, the parenting fail is that they're not seeing you make up with your wife. And so what happens is the child doesn't get to see the resolution. It's very important that the child sees conflict being resolved. Now, you may hide arguments with your wife from your child, but unfortunately, they don't get to see you make up either. I have to admit, I've staged a makeup before. My wife and I got in an argument in front of the children, uh, and then we ended up resolving it, not in front of the children, but agreed that they needed to see it. So, we staged a makeup. And I think it was important for the children to see that conflict being resolved. Avoid the parenting fail and make up in front of your child. Number three, eating healthy. Now this one is a very common parenting fail. You are eating horribly and your child is watching. They see you eating the extra desserts, drinking soda, and making poor food choices. Is that what you want for them? In the U.S., the national obesity rate for children is 20%. For adults, it's 40%. It's insane. These are totally avoidable. You need to take better care of yourself so your child can take better care of themselves. Number four, exercising. Now, you don't have to be a triathlete or you know, a competitive bodybuilder, but being active is very important. The parenting fail here is that too many parents are making the excuse that they're too busy to exercise. Be honest with yourself and just say that you haven't made it a priority. But you can change that. You know, go for walks with the family. Get outside. Just show your children that being active is important. Number five, treat people with respect. Now, I, I can't tell you how many times I have heard someone disrespect someone else or talk bad about someone else in front of a child. I hear it at the store, I hear it at a restaurant, I see it at the school. You want your child to respect you and other people? Show them. Treat other people the way that you want to be treated. Number six, putting your electronics down. <laughs> now, this is the granddaddy of all 
parenting fails. We tell our kids that they're watching too much TV and they're playing too many video games. Yet we are on our phones all the time. You can try to use that excuse that yours is work related, but does that even matter? And is it even true? Either way, try limiting your own use of electronics when you're in the presence of your children. Monkey see, monkey do. I'd love to hear from you. What's one of your parenting fails? You know, if you had to admit it, let's just be honest, get it out. Leave your feedback in the comment section below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell. Catch our live YouTube show every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.